Ladies and gentlemen, please stand and remove any non-religious headgear for the posting of the colors and the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage the commander of the Missouri American Legion, Mark Clark. Good morning. Is this thing working? Hey, I've got a message for you, our citizens here, but first I want to say thanks to the parents and the families that have come today. Thank you for entrusting the care of your most precious resource to us this week. We hope that, that we're going to return uh, a young man that you'll be proud of. I know you were proud before they came, but uh, they're going to have all kind of great stories to tell you about their experience here. To the citizens here, you came here recommended by your schools as young men of high character who demonstrated leadership potential. This week, we have taught you the things that are important about your nation, about the way our government works. You've been exposed to different facets of the American experiment. For 248 years, the United States has served as a beacon to the rest of the world as our great experiment marches on. This country of ours that we call home, that you have inherited in your youth, is a nation that has freed more people, liberated more nations from tyranny, and provided more humanitarian support and assistance than every other country on this planet combined. This is the challenge of your future. You are now the guardians of America's future. We have given you the tools you need. So you came here with, uh, as young men with potential. You leave here as young leaders with a toolbox full of tools that will make you a more effective citizen. I can tell you that as an aging defender of this nation's freedom, I'm counting on you. I'm counting on your generation to accept the mantle of freedom and to march us forward. I'm counting on you to be the voice of reason, to bring people together, to ignore the bigotry and hate that many in, our media, in the media in this country want to, want, want, want to grow in our nation. We're counting on you to be that voice of reason and calm and care and concern for your fellow citizen. We're counting on you, in short order, to just make us better, to accept the challenge that has been given you, to advance the cause of freedom not only here in America, but around the world. On behalf of the American Legion and all of the men and women who make up our auxiliary and the sons of the American Legion, I extend my congratulations to you. This has been a fun week for us. We've enjoyed you coming by and visiting with us and asking us questions about our service and about what we do in the American Legion. And we hope that we've been able to impart something to you uh, that, that you can leave here with that will make you better. I know that I'm proud of you. I, I didn't get a chance to do this as a young man. I, di I didn't take school very seriously, to be honest with you. Whenever I was your age, I was chasing girls and getting ready to go in the military. So I didn't, I didn't, I didn't take this too seriously, but I'm so tickled that you did. Uh, so to the parents here, 
We're proud of these young men. You have raised young men of character, and they came here and represented you and your families well. So as you prepare to leave here, I just tell you to go out and be enthusiastic. Remember what I told you, that enthusiasm is like a wildfire that will spread through, the, to, through your community like a wildfire unless you let somebody put it out. My last challenge to you is to be the flamethrower and not the fire extinguisher. God bless you guys. Be safe. Thank you to the parents. We'll see you soon. Now, please welcome the director of the American Legion Missouri Boy State, Brad Lear. Thank you, Commander Clark. I want to extend my sincere and deep appreciation uh, to you, to the rest of the American Legion who supported us this week and all year round. We could not make this program happen without the American Legion. Thank you, sir. I'd be remiss, I'd be remiss if I did not also offer my gratitude to several others who helped make this week possible. First, thank you to our host institution, Lindenwood University, for partnering with us to provide one of the finest leadership experiences in the nation. Thank you to our staff for spending time away from your busy lives, from your families to be here this week. Your commitment to this program is, is, is extraordinary as it is humbling. Thank you to all the sponsors who supported our Missouri Boy State citizens. The investment of our sponsors and these young leaders has allowed us to provide an exceptional experience to these outstanding students. And finally, thank you to the parents and family members who are here with us for allowing these young men to participate in this week's session. We take the trust that you put in us incredibly seriously, and we are grateful for your faith in our staff and in your young men to have a great week together. And I think we have accomplished that. When I reflect on this week and I look at the faces of the citizens in the crowd, so many of you guys have had a chance to talk, at least maybe briefly, grab a selfie, uh, I'm just filled with, with just incredible hope for, for the days ahead. Because I know how the future leaders uh, before me will lead us to that brighter tomorrow. Mm. Got a couple, last couple, right, you got it. As Missouri's own Harry S. Truman said, and I'm quoting now, in periods where there is no leadership, society stands still. Progress occurs when courageous, skillful leaders seize the opportunity to change things for the better. From what I've seen, these young men are ready to seize their opportunity. Gentlemen, congratulations on a week very well done. Now, please join me in welcoming to the stage uh, our partner, our dedicated supporter of Missouri Boys State, the president of Lindenwood University, Dr. John Porter. All right, well, good morning. I tell you, this is the third year that we've hosted, and when I see this crowd, I'm absolutely amazed. I'm amazed at you as students and citizens and what you've done. I tell you this, I was saying this to Brad, uh, Thursday night was just an incredible evening. I hope you enjoyed the fair uh, on the football field. Uh, as I watched you and I watched the gals, uh, I was just thrilled that we were fortunate enough to host you, uh, to be your host. Uh, what a well, well organized, and what a wonderful week it has been. I really want to thank Brad and the leadership team for entrusting Lindenwood to host you. Uh, can we give our leaders a round of applause for the excellence they have provided in planning and executing this week?
So gentlemen, I've had the opportunity to speak with many of you this week, eat lunch throughout the week, and get to know you a little bit. As a matter of fact, I had a little uh, challenge yesterday where one of the students Wednesday said, hey, uh, I'm pretty good at pickleball. I said, really? I said, uh, okay. So I, I went out and played pickleball yesterday, and so um, I forget the gentleman's name, but uh, we had a good time. He, didn't, he did not win. I just want to let you know that, okay? <laughs> uh, I had to throw that out there, but uh, I had fun playing with the boys yesterday. It was great being out on pickleball courts. But let's just say I'm impressed with all of you, with your enthusiasm and energy. From the kickoff last Saturday to today, you have brought character to this campus. I, I truly mean that. You have brought character to this campus. You're here because you have demonstrated academic success, success and leadership. So in recognition of the leadership qualities you have developed during your week at Lindenwood, our university recognizes one outstanding citizen and awards them a full four-year tuition scholarship to continue their education and contribute to the Lindenwood community. So it's now my honor to present the Lindenwood University Scholarship to a very deserving Missouri Boy State citizen. This citizen is from Boone City. Where's Boone City at? So when I call your name, please come up and uh, we'll take a picture, but let's recognize you for this scholarship. And it goes to Gavin Hart. How awesome is that? How fun. Congratulations, Gavin. So this week, your leadership skills have grown as you have lived and learned as citizens on our campus. You have refined your ability to work with others, advocate with passion, and maintain a personal commitment to achieve your goals. Now more than ever, there is a need for committed leaders and government officials dedicated to the welfare of their citizens. By participating in Missouri Boys State, you have ensured that you are well prepared for success on any path you choose. You have demonstrated you are the kind of students that we want to be a part of Lindenwood University in our community. Let's take a quick look at a short commercial we just produced. It highlights many of the important factors that you as students in your university that you choose should be a factor. So let's just play this real quick. Are you ready for college? I get it, it's a big decision. But I think Lindenwood University can make your choice a whole lot easier. Let's start with over $30 million in scholarships and grants to make college affordable, and over 30,000 alumni working near campus to make the job hunt easier. And because we're local, enjoy the perks of campus life, and stay close to enjoy home cooking. So, what do you say? Ready to awaken that lion within? Hey, so we, we would love to awaken that lion within. In fact, there's a lot of parents, that are, parents, any parent out there that care about the cost of higher education? Anybody interested? Just a few out there. It's true, we give over $30 million a year in scholarships and, uh, and help and aid for our students, and so we would love for you to be a part of it. In addition to hands-on learning opportunities in all majors, Lindenwood, Lindenwood University's Honors Academy offers a unique experience to the very best students of which you would be a part of. This is really important, this next piece. We forge crucial partnerships, including our pre-engineering program with Wash U. By completing prerequisites, students are guaranteed direct admission from Lindenwood to Wash U. Furthermore, our nursing program has garnered valuable support from Mercy, and they're great partners. And so we love this partnership. I had the Chancellor of Wash U here about six months ago. He loves the fact that you can get your pre-engineering here, 
and you're assume, assuming that you keep your GPA, you're automatically accepted into Wash U's engineering program. They only accept about 13% engineering students a year. So we're really excited that. So let me just say this in, in closing. As you enter your senior year, I highly encourage you to apply for admissions here. But let me just say this to all of you, 2024 Missouri Boys State citizens, congratulations on a, on a job well done for being a part of this and thinking and being great corporate citizens. We look forward to welcoming you back to campus, hopefully in the future. Thank you for letting us host you. Take care. Please welcome MBS Director of Development, Ryan Sensaboy. Good morning, Boys State. Good morning. <laughs> My role is to ensure that Missouri Boys State, the premier youth leadership program in Missouri, is provided at no cost to you. A tradition upheld since Missouri Boys State was founded by the American Legion in 1938. But no cost to you is not the same as free. Each of you were sponsored by the American Legion an individual, a business, or a civic organization. Each of these sponsors donated $500 or more to give you this remarkable experience because they know the profound impact Boys State will have on you as a student, a citizen, and the future leaders of our democracy. It's impossible to know as we stand here today what the impact of their investment will be five, 10, 20, or 50 years from now, as you utilize the tools learned this week to make our communities better. But let's take a look at the impact the Boys State has already made on these young men this week. Well, here we are at the amazing State Fair of Missouri Girls State and Missouri Boys State. Tonight, we celebrate an amazing week. It's been a big day. Our candidates were announced. And tomorrow, on Friday, we get to work. No, it's not on my mama's say. If you never had her I could pick up the pieces all I want I'm always putting me back together oh. Thank you, Boys State. Thank you, Boys State. Thank you, Boys State. Thank you, Boys State, for giving us these amazing opportunities. I've learned a lot about myself and what I want to do. Let me meet all these new people. I've made so many new friends. Hey, for giving me the opportunity to create so many new relationships that I can have for the rest of my life. Thank you. My name is Rich Hester and I'm one of the senior counselors here at the program. Today is such a special day. I want you to just think about how far you've come. We've lost elections, we've won elections, we've celebrated, but the biggest thing to know is that you made a difference. The friends that you've made, the bonds that you have established, they will last a lifetime. Cherish those moments, cherish the relationships, keep in touch with one another, from us to you, we appreciate all that you have done this week, and we hope that you go out into this world to make it a better place. Kenan Johnson, I'm from Gamble City, and I'm now your state auditor. The fact that you can bring complete strangers in here and they'll end up being some of the people you'll remember for the rest of your life is truly special. Our counselor, the biggest thing that he taught us is that the best thing you can be remembered for is being kind, and that is probably the biggest takeaway that I've gotten from Missouri Boys State. So it's an experience that I'll never forget and that changed my life. To the rest of my Boys Staters, 
this doesn't end here. We didn't just come here for seven days and then go on to our regular lives. We had to make changes in our community and for the future of America. Hi, my name is Tristan Opperman. I'm the executive producer for MVS Films. I've seen this session in Boise State achieve so many amazing things. Watching you all break out of your shells and achieve so much has truly been inspiring. All of the lessons that you have learned here are now tools ready for your disposal for you to go back home and make your communities better. Someone saw something in you that made them think that you should be here. And now that you have completed the Boise State program, it's time for you to go home and do what you do best. Make the world a better place. Thanks, Boy State. We be just friends. We be just friends. We be just friends. We be just friends. So parents, the Boy Staters got to preview that last night, but we really thought you would enjoy seeing it as well. Their week has really been amazing. You know, this week I spoke to a Boy Stater from 1968 who told me that Boy State was a transformational experience for him and completely changed the trajectory of his life for the better. His impact on the world and his community have been profound. And that experience is why so many of our sponsors donate to give you this opportunity. As alumni of Boise State, you will have the opportunity to pay it forward by sponsoring future citizens in the years to come. And I hope that you will rise to the occasion because Boise State needs you. To the parents in the crowd, you too have the opportunity to pay it forward and give this experience that your son received to another young man or young men in the future. You will receive information on how to become a sponsor in the coming weeks. But here today, you have an opportunity to support the work our counseling staff does on a day-to-day -day basis throughout the week. On the back page of your program are 16 QR codes, representing the 16 cities of Missouri Boys State. The city counselors who have been supporting your citizens, your sons, throughout the week are having a competition to see who can raise the most for the program. This is an excellent way to say thank you to them for their service this week. My commitment is to ensure that the best and brightest students from all across Missouri have the opportunity to experience Boys State regardless of their economic circumstance. And I hope that you will join me in making that a reality for the years to come. Thanks so much. Now the Dean of the Missouri Boys State School of Education, Kevin Creighton. Good morning, Boys State. 
My name is Kevin Creighton. I am privileged to serve as the Dean of the Missouri Boys State School of Education, and I'm here to briefly talk to you about our college credit opportunities. You can get a jump start on your college career by participating in either a two or three college credit option based off your participation here at the Missouri Boys State program. We are excited to announce that through our partnership with Lindenwood University, we're able to offer a reduced tuition rate of $100 per credit hour, which knowing that an average college tuition is three to $500 is a fantastic deal for our citizens and for our families. We're also happy to announce that based off our final exam, our students achieved a 90% final exam pass rate. Please give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> Parents, guardians, and families, you will receive information in the coming months on if your child is eligible for these college credit options. If you're interested in receiving the two credit hour option, the only thing you must do is go online and enroll and register. Your son's participation with the Missouri Boys State program and passing of the final exam with at least a 70% makes him eligible for that college credit. However, if you're interested in the three college credit option, your son will need to enroll in an eight week college course that will take place online in the spring. These credits are highly transferable across the state, institutions, and even out of the state. And we are thankful for our partnership with Lindenwood University that has accredited this program to offer your sons this opportunity. Thank you so much. Now, Missouri, Missouri Boys State Treasurer and Executive Committee member, Dan and Merrill. Good morning, Missouri Boys State, morning. and good morning to all of our parents and guests. Uh, first thing I want to speak about this morning uh, is important to all of you, as well as the parents in the room. The Harley Wyatt Memorial Scholarship Program. Before we get into awarding several scholarships, I want to make sure that parents and citizens alike are aware of the Harley Wyatt Memorial Scholarship Program. This program offers over two million in scholarships available to graduating Boys State citizens from over 30 universities. As you identify the university you wish to attend, ask them about scholarships for Missouri Boys State citizens. You can find a thorough list of scholarships available at our website, moboystate.org slash scholarships. Now on to the awards. The Samsung American Legion Scholarship. Samsung Corporation, in partnership with the American Legion, in recognition for service of Korean War veterans, provides several state and national scholarships. Several national winners are, available, are eligible for 10,000 in scholarships. Today, we will announce the national finalists from Missouri Boys State. Please join me on the stage when I read your name. The 2024 Samsung American Legion Scholarship National finalist is from Cape Girardeau, Notre Dame High School, Matthew Gibson Austin. Please help me welcome Dean of Counselors, Nick Ebert. Good morning, gentlemen. How we doing? I don't have a mug. I'm sorry. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. So in my role of Dean of Counselors, I have the distinct privilege of leading our all-volunteer staff from across the state, across the country, over 160 individuals dedicate time every year to develop and bring forward this program. In addition, it doesn't stop at just one week. 51 weeks out of the year, we're also working diligently to ensure this program is put on to drive the best citizen experience for each of our 868 Missouri Boys State citizens annually. 
I'd like to take a quick moment to thank our all-volunteer staff for the incredible work they've done to help put on this each week. Thank you. So now it's time to give away some awards. I got big ones too, right? This is exciting. The first award I'm privileged to give away today is our Judicial Official of the Week. If I could please have the Dean of our law school, Jace Carter, join me on stage for the presentation. The Judicial of the... It's okay, he's fine, he's fine, he's fine. <laughs> Don't waste your time. The Judicial Official of the Week. My attorney from Lewis City, Chase Jackson. Hi, I'm Jace Carter, Dean of the Law School. Chase did a great job this week. He was in private practice, so whether it was in the classroom, whether it was in trial, whether it was advising clients before a big trial, he was amazing and mature beyond his years and really proud of what he did this week and all the other attorneys and judges throughout the court system. So congratulations, Chase. Next is our Public Safety Official of the Week. If I could please have Corporals Dallas Thompson and Justin Dunn join me on stage. When I call the name of this individual, if they'll join me on stage, again, we'll watch a quick video. Also hailing from Lewis City, Ethan Thompson. I'm Justin Dunn of the Missouri State Highway Patrol and an instructor in the Law Enforcement Public Safety Schools of Instruction here at Missouri Boys State. This year's Public Safety Official of the Week is Ethan Samuel Thompson of Lewis City. Ethan was one of the Missouri Boys State Troopers and did an outstanding job in his position supporting the communities and enforcing laws. Ethan was continually mentioned by his peers as an outstanding public servant and an officer of ethics and hard work. Congratulations, Ethan. Congratulations, Ethan. Next, I have the distinct privilege of honoring our Journalist of the Week. If I could please have Brett Neese, counselor of the Journalism School, join me on stage. This award goes to Dominic Weingart of Blair City. Dominic hit the ground running, covering breaking news and demonstrating his extraordinary interviewing skills. He covered topics such as staircase taxation and controversies on the athletic field. But it was his collaborative style that raised up his colleagues to do their own impactful work. Congratulations on a great week, Dominic, our 2024 Journalist of the Week. Next, if I could have the Dean of our Legislative and Executive Policy, Sam Murphy, join me on stage for the Legislative Official of the Week. From Con City, Garrett Flack. This week, the House and Senate debated bills, passed the budget, and conducted the people's business. Leading that work in the Senate was the President Pro Tem, Garrett Flack of Con City. Garrett did an excellent job presiding over debate, 
organizing committees, and leading the joint session of the General Assembly. For that reason, Garrett is our 2024 Legislator of the Week. Congratulations to Garrett Flack, and well done. Lastly, if I could have the Dean of our local government school, Taylor Elwell, join me on stage for the local official of the week, hailing all the way from Crowder City, Jacob Spore. Hi, I'm Taylor Elwell, Dean of the Local Government and Policy School here at Missouri Boys State. This week's Local Government Official of the Week demonstrated great energy and passion for the work he did in his community. He led his community in adopting new ordinances that positively impacted the lives of his residents, and he worked outside his city boundaries to collaborate with other cities and counties. This week's Local Government Official of the Week is the Crowder City Mayor, Jacob Spoor. Congratulations. Congratulations to all of our winners. I next have the distinct uh, privilege to introduce what I would say is the, the OG Dean of Counselors and lifetime member of our executive committee, Mr. Elton Fay. When you appeared last Saturday, <clears throat> you went into a city of guys that you did not know. And at the end of the week, after you had done everything you could to make your city, your county, and your state the very best possible, you had a quiet moment to determine who among your citizens was the servant leader citizen of the week? Because of the Missouri Boy State Memorial Trust, we are given the uh, unique opportunity to grant scholarships to three of the citizens of the week However, I can assure you that over the last 30 years of interviewing students, the 16 young men who were the citizens of the week voted by their own peers made it one that we very well could have given the first place scholarship to all 16 of you young men. I am asking that all 16 citizens of the week rise and come line up right in front of the podium and give them a round of applause. To the second runner-up, we will grant a $2,500 scholarship. To the first runner-up alternate, we will grant a $5,000 scholarship. And to the citizen of the week, they will be granted a $10,000 scholarship from the Missouri Boys State Memorial Trust. I would ask that the three persons I list join me on stage for pictures. The second runner-up is Ridwan Osman.
The second runner-up is Isaiah, or the first alternate, I'm sorry, is Isaiah Estep. And your Citizen of the Week 2024 is Ronald Johnson. It's my true honor to announce the winner of this year's 2024 Missouri Boy State Citizen of the Week. Each of the 16 cities nominated a person that they saw as their best candidate to be the Citizen of the Week. And a board met to evaluate those 16 citizens and they came up with one winner. Congratulations, RJ. Now welcome the treasurer of the Missouri Boys State Memorial Trust, Mike Stewart. Good morning. My name is Mike Stewart. I'm the treasurer of the Missouri Boys State Memorial Trust, and I am pleased to be here to announce the recipient of the fourth annual Man in the Arena Vogel Family Scholarship. The recipient will receive $100,000 toward their college expenses over the next four years. We received just under 300 amazing and extremely qualified applications. I'm sure I don't have to tell you how difficult it was to pick just one. The decision was made on a combination of academics, vision, future goals, and financial need. This scholarship, along with several other staff scholarships, citizen sponsorships, has been made possible through the generosity of Tony and Lisa Vogel of St. Charles. They established these scholarships and sponsorships in honor of their two sons, Adam and Drew. They have enabled several individuals to help make their educational dreams come true. The Missouri Boys State Trust would like to personally thank the Vogel family for their generosity. And before I announce the recipient, I'd like to recognize the finalists for the scholarship in alphabetical order. As I read your name, please stand and be recognized. They are Isaiah Estep. Jake Farmer, Eli Ferguson, Jephthah Glaster, Hayden Raddick, Ronald Johnson, Nathaniel Martin, Cody Morgan, Landon Rosenhofer, Joshua Sprawl, and Kyle Smith. All of you are to be congratulated for being selected as finalists. Before I announce the winner, please join me in commending the selection committee for their time and effort in evaluating all of these applications. Every single application Every single application was read and evaluated and scored. I'd like to offer thanks to former MBS director and our chairman, Mike Plunkett, executive committee member, Dr. Steve Grand, former dean of operations, Dr. Tim Miller, former dean of counselors, Dale Wright, MBS board member, Dr. Joey Deke, senior technology board member, Dr. Brandon Eldridge, 
senior staff and alumni member Chris Schlarman, and senior staff member Darcy Grand. Please give them a round of applause. And now on behalf of Tony and Lisa Vogel and the Vogel family, uh, I'd like to announce the fourth annual Man in the Arena Scholarship recipient. He intends to pursue a degree in medicine. In his recommendation letter, Tyler Janke, his social studies teacher and department chair at his high school, tells us that he, he possesses great dreams and goals in life. And I am fully confident he will achieve each and every one of them. And I believe his work ethic and studious personality will help him achieve, achieve his ultimate potential. I'm pleased to announce the recipient of the fourth annual Man in the Arena Vogel Family Scholarship from Crowder City, Smith Cotton High School in Sedalia. Congratulations, Jephthen Ezra Blaster. Congratulations, Jeff, and thank you, Mike. Following each session of Missouri Boys State, five $5,000 grants will be awarded to our all-volunteer staff members who are enrolled full-time in an accredited academic institution. This grant, is award, this grant award is based both on merit and financial need of the applicant. I have a unique opportunity this year where we have the ability to give away six $5,000 grants due to the generosity of one of our staff members in honor of the namesake of Khan City, Herb Khan. If the following staff members could please join me on stage as I announce the 2024 Vogel Family Spirit of Service Grant and Staff Scholarship recipients. When asked what it means to serve as a staff member, he answered, now, Going into my sixth year on staff, I can confidently say coming back to MBS each year is one of the most important decisions I continue to make. Not only has volunteering at Missouri Boys State provided me with deeply cherished memories and lifelong friends, but serving on this staff has made me a better man, a stronger leader, and a caring human. From Kirksville, Missouri, and Jackson High School. He attends Kirksville College of Osteopathic Medicine, Please welcome Caleb Ahrens, City Councilor, Palm City. Hey. Nice job, Caleb. Next, when asked what he wants to accomplish as a staff member, this individual answered, I hope to prove capable of creation, not just consumption. I am grateful for the legacy I will inherit at Boy State, but nobody can repeat the past. The future must be forged every day. From Chesterfield, Missouri and Parkway Central High School, he attends Stanford University and studies physics and literature. A.J. Eisenberg, Assistant City Councilor Donovan. Our next recipient, 
When asked what it means to serve as a staff member, he answered, it means so much to me that when I sit down and think about it, I become emotional. For him, MBS was a moment in his life that shaped the man he is now and will forever be a pivotal moment from where he goes today. When asked about his primary goals in life, he answered, I'm going to use my college education as a key to my future. This new key will open doors that no family member before me had the opportunity to open and walk through. From St. Louis, Missouri and Lutheran North High School, this fall he'll be attending St. Louis University to study finance. Please join me in welcoming Simi Sola or Simi Dolawa, Assistant City Councilor Boone. Our next recipient, when asked what it means to serve on staff, he answered, it means everything to me to serve as a member of the Missouri Boy State Counseling staff. While the citizen and staff handbook parallel the large program knowledge required for this position, I truly realize that the connections and personal impact have established my love for Missouri Boy State. From O'Fallon, Missouri and, 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 attending, uh, and attended Fort Zumwalt West High School, he currently attends the University of Chicago and studies computer science and economics. Please welcome Pranav Palapanifan. Assistant City Councilor Crowder. Our next recipient, when asked why serve on the Missouri Boys State staff, stated, serving as a member of the Missouri Boys State counseling staff holds profound significance for me. I am passionate about developing future leaders and am committed to empowering Boy State attendees to reach their full potential and deepen their understanding of civic responsibility and knowledge. I am inspired that this opportunity means contributing to a legacy of leadership and civic engagement, ensuring that the values and lessons of Boy State continue to motivate and shape future generations. It's my desire to make Missouri Boy State Summer a tradition for many years to come. From Kansas City, Missouri, recently finishing attending Liberty High School. He will attend Purdue University this fall. Jackson Zimmer, Schools of Instruction Counselor, International Affairs. And our last staff recipient, when asked what it means to be an MBS staffer, answered, as a member of the MBS counseling staff, I feel a deep and meaningful sense of responsibility. Serving on the MBS counseling staff means being a creator of positive change, helping to instill confidence and leadership skills in the next generation. It is about giving back to the program that gave so much to me and continuously working to make MBS a place where young people can discover their potential and lay the foundation for future success. From Baldwin, Missouri and Marquette, Marquette High School, he attends Washington and Lee University in Lexington, Virginia and studies politics. Please welcome Carter Gleason, <laughs> Assistant City Councilor Donovan. Next, I'd like to invite former Missouri Boy State Governor John Holt to the stage to help present our next award. The C. Kirby Wilcox Governor's Award travels with the governor back to his high school to display throughout his senior year. Charles Kirby Wilcox graduated from West Point in 1965. He took his commission as a captain in the U.S. Army and was deployed to Vietnam immediately after graduation. Captain Wilcox was killed in action on January of 1968 in Binh Dinh, South Vietnam, at the age of 25. He was the son of Charles H. Wilcox of Springfield, a respected legionnaire and a successful businessman. 
The Springfield American Legion Post 676 also bears his name. In June of 1976, the, Ameri the Missouri American Legion named Post 676 the Kirby Wilcox Bicentennial Post. Charles H. Wilcox was elected state commander of the Missouri American Legion in 1980. In that same year, the board of directors of Missouri Boy State named the MBS Governor's Award for his son, C. Kirby Wilcox. Please join me in welcoming your newly elected governor, Hayden Hradick. He's got to put that thing in a suitcase. All right, <laughs> thank you. I'm back. To our parents, parents in the crowd, you kind of, we go through these uh, staff scholarships um, to give you a sense of the type of uh, young men who were themselves Boy State citizens who come back to work uh, with your sons. There are uh, a number of future staff members sitting right here in front of me uh, in white shirts and otherwise. I hope, uh, gentlemen, if you are extended an invitation uh, to serve on our staff or decide to apply, that you'll uh, consider coming back and joining us in years to come. As a 30-plus a year staff member myself, I can say that it is uh, one of the tremendous sources of pride uh, in my life. We have uh, folks that serve from so many different uh, walks, obviously incredibly impressive young men in our city counseling staff, but we also have uh, people who really live the ideals uh, of public service that we seek to instill at Boy State, people who, who maybe have sacrificed even, who could go on into the private sector uh, and, and um, focus there, focus their leadership there, but instead choose the calling of public service and we've established an award, uh, to, again, to sort of further give you a sense of the type of people that are working with your uh, young men this week, and that's the Justin W. Stephen Public Service Award. This award recognizes a member of our staff who lives the ideals of Boy State by stepping into the arena and answering the call of service in his home community. It's named for Justin Stephen, who is a native of Appleton City and attended Missouri Boy State in the year 2000. He returned as a volunteer staff member for 13 years and just worked tirelessly for this program. Justin was proud of his hometown and he dedicated his life to serving his fellow citizens. In 2012, he was elected mayor of Appleton City at just the age of 29. Justin left us too soon, but he will always be in our hearts. He loved this country and strived to live up to our highest ideals, and he loved Boy State. He touched each of us that he worked with on staff with his incredible energy, humor, his respect for tradition, and most importantly, his dedication to service. The 2024 recipient of the Justin W. Stephen Public Service Award is someone who worked right alongside Justin. He was himself a citizen of Missouri Boy State uh, just the year after Justin attended in 2001, from Rolla High School. At Boy State, he attended the journalism school. And thereafter, he became the communications director for then Governor Jay Nixon. He now serves as the dean of the school Justin Stephen loves so much, the legislative and executive policy school here at Boy State. Outside the session, he has dedicated himself to public service, service as the chief strategy officer of Greater St. Louis, Inc. And if you indulge me, I'd like to tell you just a little bit more about our recipient of this award, Mr. Sam Murphy. Sam's organization, Greater St. Louis, works to drive economic growth for the St. Louis region. And as the chief strategy officer, he's led negotiations on behalf of public and private partners to restore things like the first nonstop flights from St. Louis to continental Europe in 20 years. He's a strong advocate for the expansion of public transit 
including construction of the North-South Metro line that will connect people from North St. Louis with jobs and economic opportunities in the city's central corridor. In 2002, or excuse me, 2022, he worked with other organizations and stakeholders to advocate for a 400% increase in transit funding for the state of Missouri, funds that will go to help our fellow citizens. Like Justin, Sam Murphy has rendered tireless service to his community as well as the Boys State program. His efforts exemplify the spirit of Justin and his love of public service. Please join me in congratulating this year's recipient of the Justin W. Stephen Public Service Award, Mr. Sam Murphy. I met with you uh, earlier this week when we uh, introduced the finalists for Boys Nation. I told you then that while this uh, week, uh, this occasion today marks the end of the week for Missouri Boys State, two of our citizens will have the opportunity uh, to matriculate to the American Legion Boys Nation program. The 77th American Legion's Boys Nation will be held on the campus of Marymount University in Arlington, Virginia uh, from July 19 through uh, 27th. That, of course, is right outside of Washington, D.C., our nation's capital. This year, the Boys Nation Selection Committee re uh, reviewed 130 applications, and from there they were uh, painstakingly narrowed down to the eight that we announced uh, the other night, all of which were impeccably qualified candidates in their own right. Uh, the competition was fierce, and the committee deliberated for long hours before deciding on their selections. Uh, before we get to our two delegates, I will first announce the two alternate selections. If one of the two delegates selected cannot attend, of course the alternates will serve uh, in their stead. The second uh, alternate uh, to Boys Nation, incredibly accomplished young man, is from Con City and Blue Springs South High School, Mr. Garrett Phillip Flack. Our, our first alternate to Boys Nation is from Weir City and St. Louis University High School, Otto Thomas Reitenbach. Congratulations to you both for that honor. And now, of course, to our two senators who will represent Missouri Boys State in Washington, D.C. this July. from Carnahan City and Pembroke Hill High School, John Patrick Honnold. Johnny did an amazing job this week as his state party chairman. He is really well versed in both state and federal politics and policy. The bill he'll be proposing at Boys Nation, the Guard Act, will bolster national security and resources for asylum seekers at the southern border, while also improving support systems for our veterans. Johnny will be a champion for Missouri Boys State at Boys Nation. We wish him the best of luck. And our second senator, he hails from Weir City and Jefferson City High School, Arjun Sakar Garakpati. Arjun has a never give up approach to helping Missouri. 
He understands the importance of building relationships to get things done and working across the aisle. As Senator from Missouri, Arjun plans to sponsor legislation at Boys Nation that will expand pathways for student loan forgiveness and reduce the U.S. deficit by creating jobs. Arjun will put Missouri on the map at Boys Nation. We know he'll do a great job. Please welcome Missouri Boys State Director of Athletics, Adam McClellan. All right, so the 2024 Missouri Boys State Athlete of the Week competition was sponsored this year by the Army ROTC. Not only did they give the MBS and ALA MGS programs a generous sponsorship, but cadets from the ROTC also volunteered their time to test our citizens in a modified version of their PT test. I'm happy to report that this year's winner received a perfect score on that test. From Blair City, Connor Wright. Congratulations, Connor. Your name will be added to this trophy. This year's Athlete of the Week competition was brought to us by the Army ROTC. They provided a modified version of the fitness test, and I am thrilled to announce that Connor scored a perfect 400 out of 400 points. Congratulations again, and welcome to this prestigious club. Congrats again, Connor. All right, guys, now for the city competition. It was an incredible week. I'm very proud of the sportsmanship, uh, sportsmanship that was on display. This year's athletics competition was brought to us by Garmin, and it was extremely close. I'll ask that the athletic director and the assistant from the winning city join me on stage, and now for your champion. Congratulations. All right, gentlemen, there are two final awards that I have to present here today, the Model County and Model City Award. Now. Jerry Linton was a Missouri boy stater and longtime U.S. representative from Chillicothe. He was considered one of the finest young leaders of his generation and in August 1976 won the Democratic nomination for U.S. Senate. That same night, he was tragically killed along with his family in a plane crash while flying to Kansas City for a victory celebration. In 1977, the Missouri Boys State General Assembly voted to name the Model County Award after Jerry Linton. The Jerry Linton Model County Award is awarded to the county who best exemplifies the shared spirit of two cities working together to achieve a common goal of greatness. And now for the award. The second runner up for Model County was a well-rounded government that had some of the most active participation as well as one of the highest county reports. The second runner up for the 2024 Jerry Linton Model County Award is Barton County. The first runner-up for Model County had one of the highest performing economies in the state and one of the highest voter turnouts. The first runner-up for 2024 Jerry Linton Model County is Frank County. Yeah. 
And if I could have the presiding county commissioner from the next county I call, please join me on stage. The winner of the 2024 Jerry Litton Model County Award established itself as a leader in the state from the very beginning of the week. This county placed first in the overall county report and first in election participation. They also had one of the top performing circuit courts in all of Missouri Boy State. In fact, they also sued myself and Director Lear. <laughs> the winner of the 2024 Jerry Litton Model County Award is Scott County. <laughs> If I could have the presiding county commissioner from Scott County, please come to the stage. All right, I'll just accept it on his behalf, thank you. It goes without saying, and I just, I wanna make it clear that the fact that they lost the case against myself and Director Lear had no bearing on their scores, okay? The most sought after award at Boy State is the Model City Award. The Model City Award is appropriately named after our nation's 33rd president, Missouri's own Harry S. Truman. The Model City Award is the most complete measure of participation and achievement as a city unit. Quite simply, the best city at Boys State wins. This year, I am proud to say we had a very tight race. Now for the award. The second runner up for Model City is considered by the selection committee to have the highest voter turnout in Missouri Boys State, the best written city ordinances, and the highest ranked city report. The second runner up for the 2024 Harry S. Truman Model City Award is Weir City. The first runner up for Model City showed intuitiveness from the beginning of the week. This city had the highest participation rates in the state. They demonstrated strength across every category of model city criteria with the highest scoring municipal court activity in the state. The first runner up for the 2024 Harry S. Truman Model City Award is Carver City. Now, if I could have the mayor of the following city, please join me on stage for recognition for the winner of our Model City Award. The winner of the 2024 Harry S. Truman Model City Award is a city that exemplify, exemplifies all the best attributes of civic engagement during the week. With eager citizens before the first official meeting even began, this city continued to tr be truly exceptional, exceptional throughout the week. From nominating statewide candidates to winning some of the largest lawsuits this season, this city immersed itself completely into, into the session, even earning the highest city councilor vote. Can I get a drum roll, please? The 2024 Model City Award goes to Donovan City. falls to me to bring uh, this ceremony and our session to a close. Gentlemen, you've had a tremendous week. We've had an opportunity to interact with some of the state and nation's preeminent leaders. The energy in this room uh, throughout the week was really just breathtaking uh, for me. You built your own state from the ground up and together you've accomplished amazing things. I'd like to hearken back uh, to the words of the great President Teddy Roosevelt that we started the week with. And he told us, it is not the critic who counts, not the man who points out how the strong man stumbles or where the doer of deeds could have done them better. The credit belongs 
to the man who's actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again because there is no effort without error and shortcoming, but who does actually strive to do the deeds, who knows great enthusiasms, the great devotions, who spends himself in a worthy cause, who at the best knows in the end the triumph of high achievement, and who at the worst, if he fails, at least he fails while daring greatly, so that his place shall never be with those cold and timid souls who neither know victory nor defeat. Boy State, your place is in the arena. We know you will go forth and do great things. You have joined our MBS family. I ask you please to rise if you're able as we turn our attention to remember some members of our family who we have lost since our last session. Mr. Walt Hicklin. He served on our board of directors. He was a longtime dean of administration, a lifetime member of the MBS executive committee. He was a tireless advocate for this program. May he rest in peace. Art Wilson, longtime MBS storekeeper and member of our staff former state commander of the American Legion Department of Missouri. His Legion post never failed to send a citizen to Boise State. May he rest in peace. Marvin Harper, former state commander of the American Legion Department of Missouri, long time American Legion Boise State staff member he was a champion for the program with the Legion and will be dearly missed. May he rest in peace. Joel Hawk. He was a former state commander. He served for decades as a district chairman for District 10. Excuse me a staff member in the MBS store for more than 35 years. Two of his grandsons are here as citizens, carrying forth his legacy. Joel loved Boy State. And as you can hear, Boy State loved Joel. May he rest in peace. Please join me in a moment of silence. Gentlemen, life is precious. 
from what we've seen this week, your enthusiasm, your devotion to each other, your love of country, everyone here at Boy State knows that you will make the most of yours. You have had an incredible week. We are so proud of each and every one of you. It is my honor to declare the 84th session of Missouri Boys State now adjourned. Signing die.